Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. A uh, couple of uh, Marlborough wines today, uh, and um, they are from Forest Estate, although when you pick them up, it doesn't say Forest uh, in big letters uh, on the front label. It's got, it got their, their name written on the back. What it's got instead is The Doctors, um, and uh, it's nothing to do with Doctor Who or anything like that. Uh, it's to do with Dr. John Forrest. Um, there must be another doctor because it's got a doctor's plural. Uh, anyway, uh, but uh, they, they are, their USP is that they are on the lower uh, alcohol end for Sauvignon. Not way, way down, de-alcoholised or one of those 5.5% uh, jobbies. Here they're 9.5% alcohol. How do they survive at uh, the alcohol level? Let us have a see. So this first one is uh, the Doctor's Sauvignon Blanc 2015. Marlborough, uh, give it a whirl. Smells on the crisp side for Marlborough. Uh, a little bit of rhubarb in there and uh, otherwise uh, that, that classic mix of um, some citrus and some passion fruit. I think of rhubarb maybe as being a flavour between those two so, uh, uh, so that would make sense. It uh, doesn't smell like, sometimes when you have wines so where the alcohols have been uh, taken out, uh, they, they almost taste like they've been denatured. Here it smells, it smells like Sauvignon. Well, a um, couple of things I noticed. Uh, one of them is that uh, it's 18 months old now. They, 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 I, I don't, wouldn't be surprised if they've got the 2016 vintage on the market already. Uh, so there's some softening of the fruit flavours. Uh, the other thing that I think is softening, uh, softening things out is I think they've left a little bit of uh, residual sugar in there just to um, do the Mary Poppins spoonful of sugar medicine go down treatment. But maybe what I notice is that uh, compared with uh, the, the really full-on Marlborough Sauvignons, there's just something that's not quite there. I don't know how they've, um, how they've achieved the 9.5% here, whether it's been through early picking or almost like irrigating your grapes so much that you, uh, uh, that the, the alcohol uh, levels struggle to get to uh, anything higher than 9.5%, or thinking about that residual sugar, uh, whether they've stopped the fermentation slightly early. Maybe it's a combination of all three, I don't know. But um, it's okay. And it certainly tastes of Marlborough Sauvignon, but um, maybe uh, something lacking compared with um, uh, the great Marlborough Sauvignons. Yeah, oh, I, I think they've been making it for uh, maybe 10 years now, might, might even be longer. Uh, what hasn't been around for quite as long is uh, the Doctors of Rosé. Uh, so this is 2016. Um, I, it doesn't say on the back uh, what it's made from. Um, candidates, I suppose, would be maybe there's a little bit of Pinot Noir, maybe there's a bit of Merlot. Um, could be, oh, well, let's have a see. Stick my nose in and see uh, if there's anything that's obvious about it. I have to say there are roses that smell of more, um, uh, but there are roses that smell of less, and there are roses that smell far worse. There's a little bit of uh, ever so slight confected uh, red fruit, maybe strawberry, cherry character here. Uh, it doesn't smell like it's going to be hugely complex. There's more going on in the Sauvignon, but um, it smells okay. It's decent enough, um, not huge depth of flavour. Um, it's, yeah, a bit confected. Uh, I prefer the Sauvignon just about. Um, I wouldn't say either of them was great, but um, if you are trying to cut down on your alcohol levels, I, I, I imagine that uh, uh, most typical Marlborough Sauvignons now top 13%, so um, instead of having... Uh, two glasses of that, you can now have three glasses of the regular Sauvignon. Um, uh, would I want three, three, would I want three glasses of that? Uh, that's a different matter. I think I'd rather have two glasses of a, uh, of a more mainstream one. It's, both of them are, they're, they're in the, they're moving in the right direction. There's some horrible low alcohol wine around. And uh, if we can get things where uh, things uh, come under 10%, uh, then it means that our health is uh, yeah, it's it, it, hopefully we'll, we'll last longer uh, and we'll be able to drink more wine, which um, can't be a bad thing. See you soon.